use the same stones, mm -hmm. different sound. Different sounds. So different you, sound. you put I, sounds, you infuse them with sounds? Yes. So when you get your input on the sound dip on... Okay. And oh, then, and then you'll tell me. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Stones in this one. Say that again. Is this, does this have any yellow stones or yellow qualities? Not, no, no, no. Vibration. Like right there. Um, Um, and it's taken me to a time I was in India a long, long time ago, my 20s, when um, there's like these hills in this one, like as I'm going to the Ganges River, and it's like these like hills that have like, like bathers get out and they get kind of slick, and it's like, it's a, it's a rock of ease. It's a rock of, um, you said a piece? We ease. Ease. And some peace, okay. yeah. It's um like you're um you're on your path and it's kinda like it's all downhill kind of feeling. Oh my god. Really? No, I'm just uh go ahead. No, go ahead. That's awesome. Um so yeah, it's like you know, you just can't help to get where you wanna go. You just have to keep sliding down the hill. Keep what? <laughs> It was like a hills to go down to the riverbank, oh. and it was like, and it was just like sliding, sliding down the hills. Like right your way to destiny. <laughs> yeah, you just can't help but get there. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, kind of a nourishing stone. Yeah, it's a ease and nourishment. Um, I kind of sense a sunlight with it. A yellowish, a yellowish, gold, golden, a yellowish. It's more yellow, more yellow than gold, but yellowish glow. A tiny bit of gold, but wow, that's fascinating. This stone is, this stone is connected to, um, or these stones are connected to a temple. I don't. It's a, it's a temple in another country. It seems kind of marbleish. It's not big, big, big temple, but it's um, but they have a resonance with that temple. Good stone for someone wanting um, to enhance their their spiritual practices, um, religious or spiritual practices. Um, because I, I was seeing like um, images in this. Uh, it was might have been a mosque, but it was like people were you know bowing and doing their uh, their prayers. And um, and it was interesting because would it be safe to say the religious experience is the same thing as increasing the spiritual experience? Yeah, it would be, but it would be having In a, a more structural way. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. it would be a practice that enhances one's spiritual connection. Because I was thinking sweat lodges. Yeah, sweat lodge. You know could, I mean? Yeah, sweat lodge would be perfect. Uh -huh. uh, regardless of what sort of practice. Yeah, it really doesn't matter because I was picking up two two practices. One was um, the Ganges River, which would be for going to the Ganges is like religious purification. Sweat lodge would be purification. So there could be a purification element of the practice, um, but it's um, but it's not a it's not a painful you know it's not a painful it's not painful to do the the, the spiritual or religious practices. They do flow with ease. Um, you know, with the, the right commitment, as long as you're moving in the direction, as long as you face the direction, um, you're going to go downhill with with ease. The gravity is on your side in this in this um, 
situation. So this would be a great stone for somebody that great set of stones for somebody who um, is wanting to have a, um, maybe a, a, a little bit more spiritual discipline, spiritual religious discipline, um, to kind of um, help them to face in the right direction. Maybe even more grounded into uh, everyday life. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, be able to take literal actions, not to talk about what your spiritual practices are, but actually to, to take action, to uh, co commit to do them, to, um, and to benefit from them. So tell me about these stones. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Cool.